Hi, I'm Ray. Today I'm in the polytunnel and I'm looking at my tomatoes. And tomato is one of my most favourite vegetables, plants to grow. And today I'm going to show you a few hints and tips on growing your tomatoes and growing them successfully so we get a nice yield. So let's have a look at our tomatoes that we've got. So tomatoes can be grown in a large container such as a bucket as long as it's got some drainage holes or a grow bag and there's a video on my channel I'll add a link how to grow tomatoes in grow bags or they can be sown directly in the soil indoors greenhouse or outdoors so the first two are Gardener's Delight and on the end we've got a piccolo. So these first two here are piccolos and these were grown from a shop bought tomato called piccolo which is a small cherry tomato which was absolutely gorgeous. So enjoyed that. And then these are grown from shop tomatoes, just normal round tomatoes that were sliced, stuck in some soil and grown on. The next two are alicante and these are a nice salad tomato, started from seed. The next two we've got a chocolate pear and they're looking really good and they're a dark brown pear shape. The next two are pyramide and they're a pepper shape tomato which would be good for cooking. The next two are a cherry tomato and it's million bells and then the last two A gardener's delight and they're looking good and need stringing up. So my two tomato plants have tipped over from the weight so instead of having a great mess on the floor I'm going to tie them up. So I'm going to tie the top end to the top of the polytunnel and then I'm going to wrap it around and then wind it up so it can grow vertically. So I'm twisting it round not too tight so it cuts into the stem and there we go I'm going to tie this to the pot if you're growing your tomatoes in halos then drill a little hole in the side of the halo and you can attach a string onto the halo and now it can grow up vertically an alternative method if you don't use string is to use a cane and we insert the cane beside the tomato and then we can use 
I had a pipe cleaner, some twine or plastic clip and we can attach the tomato to the cane. I'll say, well, I've been away, the side shoots have been going pretty mad, I'm removing the side shoots. So these are my Alicante tomatoes, and these are the runners, or they're also known as suckers, or side shoots, and these will grow a normal branch and we'll grow tomatoes on, but they would just grow in every direction possible. And these are cordons, and I want to grow these vertically. So with these little side shoots, we don't long, no longer require. So we just pinch them out. We look in every armpit of the plant, and we just pinch them out. And they grow so quick when they get going. You have to check this nearly every day. Here we go, some of them are getting big. So we've not looked at this one and this one's getting bigger. If they're too big, we can use a pair of scissors. And there we go. Now the growth is gonna go upwards instead of outwards. We're also removing any leaves that are touching the soil as this can also cause diseases. And it's going to allow some good airflow around the bottom. So add some marigolds next to your tomatoes. So once the first stress has formed, you start producing some flowers, then it's time to give the plants some tomato plant food and do it once a week if there's one truss and twice a week if there's two trusses Once your tomato plant grows four to five trusses on its stem, and pinch off the top, and that will stop it from growing, and then put some more energy back into the fruits. So keep harvesting the tomatoes, and when it gets towards the end of the season, and there's lots of green tomatoes, just remove the tomatoes while they're green. And then you can add a banana to the tomatoes and they'll ripen on their own. You can even grow them in a bucket and use this metal frame and they can grow inside the frame. directly in the soil like these two are and the first tomatoes have got their first flowers
which is great. So I hope that helps. I'm really looking forward to the first tomato and I really don't think it's long. I see the first one has just formed on this plant in front here, which is really, really good. So exciting. So let me know, what varieties of tomato are you growing? Are you growing in a polytunnel or outside? Do you use a frame, bamboo, string? Let me know in the comments and that'd be most interesting. And uh, if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. Ring that bell, get notifications when I post some more. And I'll show you the first tomato and the first tasting pretty soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers.